In this video, we are going to talk about how to be professional. As a part of this team, you are a professional and expected to act like one. We will go to some of the basic concepts of being professional with teammates and coaches. Professionalism is defined as the competence or skill expected of a professional. A professional is a person engaged in a specific activity as a <laughs> main paid occupation rather than a pastime. We're going to start out with how you're supposed to interact with your coach as a professional. We will start with how to address a coach. When addressing a coach, it is important to identify them as either coach or Mr. or Mrs. followed by either their first or their last name. They will make it very clear what they expect when you first meet them. Yo, coach. Hey, mister. John. Coach Smith. It is respectful to call a superior by their title followed by their name. If you have any questions on how someone would like to be addressed, feel free to ask them and they will let you know. It is also respectful to make eye contact with them. This shows them that, they are listen that you are listening and that you are engaged in the conversation. This information goes for anyone that's in a superior position to yourself. This goes for coaches, managers, teachers, police officers, sponsors, and many more. Next, we're going to discuss how to, what kind of language and tones to be used with your coach. Be cautious of what you are saying and how you are talking around your coaches. Refrain from cursing and using vulgar language. Yo, hey, coach. While you may want to make jokes and use curse words among your teammates, be aware of what your coaches can hear. Keep stories jokes and sayings respectful. This shows your professionalism on and off the field. This is very important in public as well. Talking to or around kids, fans, media, sponsors, etc. When talking to a coach, it is also important to be polite. This means using phrases such as may I, please, and thank you. Here's an example encounter with a coach. Please notice how the coach is addressed, the language that is used, and the eye contact that is made. Coach Smith, may I go change my shirt? Yeah, go ahead, make it quick. Thanks, I'll be quick. It is always very important to be prepared. Whenever you go to an event, you should always be on time or early. This includes practice as long as and as well as any other team event. It is also important to be dressed appropriately for any event. When you're going to practice, make sure you're ready to work. You should also be sure to have any equipment that is required, whether this is for class or for practice. The last concept we will talk, be talking about for coaches is approaching the coach. Um, coaches and staffs are here to help you grow. They are an important resource to use when there are any problems or concerns. So when should you approach a coach? You should approach them when you have a question about the game or about expectations. When there are problems between teammates, when you have questions or concerns relating to playing time or practice drills. But when doing this, keep in mind the earlier tips when having these conversations. Use respectful tones and language, maintain eye contact, and address them appropriately. As resources, it is good to remember that not all conversations with managers or coaches are a negative thing. When you are asked to speak to someone in management, do not be afraid. Many times they are talking to you in order to help you or to learn from you. Before going into an office, take a deep breath and wait to hear what they have to say before you react. Now we are gonna talk about how to be professional with teammates. The first thing that we're gonna address is personal space. You should stay at least hula hoop length away from someone when you are talking to them and keep your hands and feet to yourself. The second thing we're gonna address with being professional with teammates is being a positive teammate. No one wants to be around someone who is negative all the time. It is important to be a positive teammate. Having positive energy and putting the team first in individual and team settings is crucial. Encourage each other on and off the field and look out for each other. Use an encouraging voice and language, especially at practice and games. If a teammate is struggling, ask why and try to help. Being positive and not degrading towards teammates will make practices and games much smoother. The next thing we're gonna talk about is being humble. Being humble means having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. It is okay to acknowledge that you are doing well, but always remember your team. It is important for when you are doing interviews 
that you don't just talk about yourself. Acknowledge your team, coaches, and the organization. The next thing we're going to talk about is being dependable. You need to be a reliable person. It's being committed to, to part of the team and buying into what the team is doing. When you don't show up, you're letting your team down. You want to be that guy that they can rely on and you show up and work hard every time. If you are asked to be somewhere or do something for a teammate, make sure you show up. Be responsible and contribute in a positive manner.